hopefully this video isn't too late, uh, but I wanted to briefly let my opinion be known on the issue of Japan and its decision to resume commercial whaling for the first time in over 30 years. A lot of articles I've seen on the internet, um, the comments section are littered with people's negative, impulsive outcries at how inhumane this is and how it's wrong and all this nonsense. There's a lot of misinformation and there's a lot of information being left out that's uh, deceiving people. Uh, most of these people are clearly, um, obviously, Westerners who feel that they are the ones who are going to tell Japan what they can and cannot do based on their own social and um, societal standards. I'd like to remind everyone that when another country, particularly a Western country, tells a, another uh, smaller nation what it can and cannot do, that that is in fact a form of cultural imperialism. So when you have Westerners telling Japan that they can't whale for the sake of, oh, the West think, doesn't eat whale meat, and to them that's, it's, a, it's, it's not allowed. To tell Japan that they can't do it simply because of the West's cultural standards, that's a form of imperialism. So let's get that straight. The West has no right, has absolutely no right at all to be telling Japan that it can't whale or anything else. And why should Japan be allowed to whale? Well, because they're doing it responsibly. And that's the part that's left out in most of these articles. Uh, the whales that are being hunted are not endangered. From my understanding, the only whales that will be hunted and have been hunted for in, 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 in recent decades have, has been the common mink whale, which looking at its Wikipedia page, you can see its conservation status is of least concern. It's not an endangered whale. It's not even a near endangered whale. It's not vulnerable. It's of least concern. It's, it's right up there with common ants, common rabbits. And the Japanese are quite responsible when it comes to the topic of whaling. Since the beginning of July, they've only hunted three from my understanding. So no, the Japanese are not hunting endangered whales. So to all the animal activists out there, they need to shut up and sit down and get their facts straight. And then I'd like to uh, make it clear that whale meat in Japan is not as popular as it used to be. So the, on the economic side of things, um, this is a niche market. It's not a staple food anymore. It's, it's obviously not cheap. It's more of a delicacy. And because of that, the demand for whale meat's not incredibly high. It's quite low. So whaling will never threaten even the common mink whale. And as if j younger generations in Japan feel that they don't want to eat whale meat, then they will not purchase it and it will slowly shrink out of existence and then commercial whaling will no longer be a, an issue. So just wanted to put that out there, um, that Westerners don't have any right to be telling other nations what they can't do when uh, the, the actions of said nation aren't aren't threatening anybody else, just they're minding their own business. Whaling has been a part of Japanese culture since the beginning of their nation. They do it responsibly, and they're hunting whales that are of least concern. They're not endangered. They're not going to hunt the endangered ones. But that's really all. You know, cultural imperialism should not be accepted. People can't tell others what they can't and cannot do. This isn't threatening anybody else's sovereignty. It's not threatening another nation's security completely hypocritical 